everyone welcome to another Windows 10 insider video and today's video we're looking at insider build 20161 now if you head over to the blog let's go over there and what we can do here is basically see what's new in this build now in this build they've actually done quite a number of changes with the themes and you can see it says theme aware tiles and start so to show you what I'm talking about if you click on start you'll notice that I'm on the dark theme and I've still got the blue backgrounds if I click settings and I go to personalization colors If I click the Start Taskbar and Action Center will show a same color on the following surfaces. You'll notice that my taskbar changed. If I click Start now, you can see it's got a bit of a bluey background, still with uh, the border on the icons. If we go and change this to light. Yeah, you can see <clears throat> it's supposed to change. Um, I've had it working on mine on and off and on and off. Sorry, my machine's hanging a bit here. Yeah. You can see for some reason this is grayed out, so I can't go and change the actual borders so this doesn't become a clear look and feel like this. I'm not sure if it's a bug or something else that you have to activate, but this is what I'm seeing on mine. It was working, but it seems to be grayed out again. So if I go back and I change it to dark, and then I scroll down, once it decides to work for me, let's click that again. still hasn't changed it even though that I've selected that but anyway that's the change is coming if we scroll down you can see the different colors themes what they look like another new thing that they introduced is the alt tab between apps and sites this is obviously using edge and you can you you can see it will start appearing in alt tab alt tab is open Okay, I haven't actually tried it <clears throat> and I'm in a tab now so if I click on alt tab oh doesn't take me very far okay maybe it's because I'm running this on a as a virtual machine I'm not sure and the next new it says a more personalized taskbar so as you can see, uh, examples here, standard with Android phones, Xbox, etc. And then improvements in notifications, and then they're saying making settings even better. So if we had to go over to this, let me go home, update and security. Wrong place. System about. <clears throat> yeah, you can see mine is also saying your PC is monitored and protected, as you can see there. And then you can still copy the information if you wanted to. Uh, other updates Windows Calculator graphing mode feature, as you can see here. I'm not going to do this, but you can see that the demo already. Uh, different color themes and then there's a new number of fixes here compared to the previous build and there's some new known issues I haven't had this one yet on but I have had a green screen again um, not sure what's triggering the green screen because this is like a vanilla OS there's nothing to it 
and then they're telling you about the new Windows Insider website design and you can go and read about this and you can head over to the documentation so I clicked on a link earlier on and it took me to to this uh, and this was found in here so I went and checked at the blog post but as you are aware that if you go back to settings uh, sorry wrong settings and you go to updates and security and you go Windows Insider the channels have changed now just wait for it to update I'm still in the far string so I get all the latest updates once they're released but it'll say in our dev channel etc so they they're basically changing how they are shipping updates and updates and fixes to Windows 10 and they're also looking at doing um, I wouldn't say better rollouts but longer rollouts in a sense that you get more quality in the rollout so as you can see dev channel and then it gives you an option now obviously you can change this beta channel that's for new people and then release channel is um, you have access to upcoming releases of Windows 10 prior to being released to the world so obviously I'm on a dev channel because I want to see what's new and improved and and where things are breaking etc and then obviously give them feedback of where things are not working and where things are working well and that is it for Windows Insider 20161 thank you very much for watching